My name is Gina King. I'm with Cyber Scout. I'm an account director. I've been there for about 14 years. The thing about identity is it doesn't change. Your name may change if you get married, um, but your social security number doesn't change. It still links you to the same credit file. So your credit file, in the sense, doesn't change. So even if someone had it in the past, um, that could still be used in the future. Identity theft is very common. Um, last year, the FTC reported 3.1 million victims. It's a age-old crime really turned into someone being able to assume your identity to become you, um, which we know it as credit card fraud, bank fraud, and is continuing to evolve. Your identity can be used for medical identity theft, criminal identity theft, tax fraud, etc. Ways people become a victim of identity theft, uh, data breach I think is number one, information being exposed that way, whether it's your name, your address, your social, your credit card information, any component of your identity. Identity thieves are looking for that information. Obviously they want as much information on you that they can use as easy as possible. The best ways to protect your identity, obviously the ones that we have, what we have control over, uh, number one always is don't carry your social security card in your wallet. You don't necessarily use it um, every day. Uh, you probably don't use it very often. If you use it, then have it, but then maybe keep it in a lock safe. Shredding documents before you throw them in the trash or just get disposing of them. Adding extra passwords to your accounts or not using simple passwords, using more complex passwords. Definitely not using pets' names or children's names or favorite vacation spots as well. Um, ensuring you have the appropriate privacy on your social media account so you're not giving away additional pieces to your identity puzzle. You know, monitor. Definitely get checking your credit report, checking your statements, your credit card statements, checking your social security benefit statement, just to make sure oh, you're the one, they're a consumer, this is your information, you know what's accurate, so monitoring that is also key. We're a service that Grinnell Mutual has is, is provided. It, it's a value add, it's a great resource, so whether you've experienced an identity theft, whether you've experienced some type of exposure, or you just have questions or concerns about your identity, that's what we're here for. We are here, we're 24 seven, and we're help, ready to help answer questions, give you as much information as you wanna take on, um, and, and help you kind of fight this crime a little bit more. For policyholders, if they've suspected any type of fraud or any type of misuse, or even have a concern about their identities, they can get in touch with our Resolution Center directly. Um, and really, it's they're gonna get to speak with an expert in the field, someone who has over nine years plus experience um, and assessing their situation. So have we identified any fraud? We can go through the steps with the policyholder to make sure that it is fraud or isn't fraud. If it is, we're equipped immediately to respond and begin that re uh, resolution process. And whether they have experienced fraud or not, even just contacting us, we'll, we will definitely educate them on additional signs of fraud, steps to be proactive, what they could do to reduce their risk of becoming a victim or making the, the the risk even higher. Your policyholders would get to us through your claims unit, so they would contact the claims unit um, and they will validate the policyholder. And really what that means is that you have an eligible active policy with Grinnell um, or one of the mutuals and, and they'll get you over directly to our resolution center where we'll begin the process.